All right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this is the Culture Shock. This is another episode of the Culture Shock. Well, shit. I didn't think I'd make it this far. But uh, nonetheless, I am your host, Seth McKendry, and I am here with someone who's been on the podcast before. Uh, you just wanted to come back. So uh, <laughs> we got Gus, and this time he actually has a face cam and not a picture. So uh, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Gus, and I've been friends with Seth for five years now. Is, yeah, what, eighth grade? <laughs> eighth grade, eighth grade. So, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Yeah, that checks out. Five. Yep. It's, uh, it's fucking, it's a wild ride, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So, he, as I said, he was on the podcast before, and I kind of hinted on that last one that he would uh, be here for another one. And we finally got off our asses and made it happen. Yep. So, it's been a while since I've seen you, man. Fucking since what? That one day when you came to school? Oh, <laughs> It's, how the fuck are you? <laughs> like, what's up, man? How you doing? Well, I'm doing good. I don't know. I had, like, I had to finish, uh, like, some classes to be able to walk, you know, for graduation. Mm-hmm. And that's been very terrible. <laughs> But I was able to finish it, so. So you walking with me or what? Yeah, we're walking. All right, cool. So did you register the people already to go? No, what? You have to register two people to go. Oh, yeah. it's. I think it's just going to be my mom and my sister. I registered my dad and my grandpa, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so it's been, fuck. I mean, this isn't, like, seeing each other, seeing each other. I would have gone to fucking Senior Sunset. Like, what was it? Fucking, as of this recording, yeah, it was, like, two days ago. Yeah. I would have gone, but I didn't know if I had known you guys would, you and Isaac would have gone, would, like, you and Isaac went, and I would have gone if I had known you and Isaac went. Yeah. But... I didn't go because I assumed none of my friends were going. I don't know. It was more of a hangout. Like, we didn't... The movie was um Into the Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. A lot of people started leaving, like, halfway through the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is the first time I've talked to you and, like, had a one-on-one conversation and fuck. How long? How long would you say it would have been? Like with an actual conversation? Like a legit conversation. Uh, does the does the podcast with Leo count or no? Uh, that kind of doesn't count because it was all three of us. Right. Well, you I know what I mean? Like almost a year and a half. See, it's it's been a really long time. <laughs> so well, I don't know. I think it was ever. Uh, it was before um, lockdown happened. Yeah, because I remember that once lockdown, once uh, it all happened, uh, everybody just stopped talking to each other <laughs> for like two weeks. <laughs> like, once that, like, say we were all, you know. We were like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. We start talking to each other, blah, 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 right? Lockdown happens. No communication whatsoever yeah, for, like, we're two weeks. To record, and then, like, for – we're planning to record music. And then, yeah, we were getting ready. When are you moving to Arizona? Because, like, are we still going to be able to do stuff like that? I have no idea because uh, I'm going to be doing college stuff and all that other oh, okay, okay. I have no idea, dude, but I'm moving to Arizona in October. Mm, okay. Wait, why are you moving? Because of uh, the school I'm going to is out there. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, you know, and dude, they offer Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes. 
mm-hmm. for like PE. So I kind of want to be on campus <laughs> to do that. So uh, I'm here until October, man. Or until my brother says, hey, I have a room for you. Come on. Yeah. Which is, I don't know. But he said October is maybe the date. So we have until October to fucking like make plans and like do whatever the fuck you want, you know, like, you know, go yeah, do can, some like, shit. I don't wait to send each other like the recording mm-hmm. and like someone can mix it, but I don't know if anyone can do that. Yeah, I don't know if anyone can do that either. But, uh, shit. All right. So, yeah, lockdown happens. Everybody stopped talking to each other for like two weeks, which was a little weird because we were like, like all of us were like tight. Yeah. You know, we were like a tight knit family, dude. It was really weird that we just cut off all communication after like fucking two, the world went to shit. So we were like, ah, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, and then I was the one that fucking wait did we have the group chat before then which one cause we have like six of them don't we, <laughs> yeah, we have like a billion group chats <laughs> and none of them are ever active like, yeah. <laughs> that's the funny thing we, we have like four or five different group chats with all of us in it but none of them are active all of them are just dead <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this was not the Rockin' Boys one because I I think that one's dead. Oh, yeah. So, like, everybody should leave that one. (laughs) And uh, uh, I think it was what became Fat Oof. Yeah, what ended up becoming Fat Oof because I got everybody in one chat and I was like, yo, y'all alive? Yeah. Like, I checked on everybody, and I was like, yo, are you guys alive, or are you dead? Because it was, like, mandatory to stay in your houses. And then once it all hit, I got a job. Like, immediately. (laughs) I was working with my dad. And then I got fired by some kid with my name. Oh, my God. It was a, yeah. (laughs) Well, he had my first name. It was a weird situation. It was just weird, man. It's a whole complicated situation I don't want to get into. But me and that guy still talk every now and again. But, uh, so, I've known you for five years, you said, right? Yep. So, to transition. Transition. <laughs> uh, when did we uh, first meet? Uh... Was this before... I tripped over and fucked up the eighth grade. It wasn't a graduation. Let's. It wasn't a fuck. Like a, it was a. It was a get the fuck out of here type thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I think we talked a bit before that, and I remember we had the same PE class, but we had different teachers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, we actually started talking and became like actual friends in freshman year. Yeah, because we talked about what? Wrestling? Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that was the main thing. And we're... and then we talked about music, yeah. And, uh... Oh, speaking of wrestling. Dude, these releases are fucking insane. Why? Why would they release... It's... Like, uh, it pisses me off. They had such good talent on their hands. Wait, but they oh. just released them for no fucking reason yeah. other than budget cuts. Like, dude. Oh, and I oh, don't know. My, my connection kind of cut off there, so. I don't know. You're frozen for a second. Is your thing still all right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm so mad about Braun Strowman leaving, dude. Because they kind of fucked him over a little bit. Like, he posted on his... Uh, like Instagram and Twitter, he was like, I'm so excited for live events to come back. Two weeks later, released. <laughs> See? And then uh, I went back to that post of him saying, oh, yeah, um, I-, I can't wait for live events to happen. 
<laughs> and then I like I went back and commented, plans just changed, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When I look back, like I still kind of find it shocking how you know they had Andrade on the roster and then now he's the left. And dude, Alistair Black was in the middle of a new gimmick. He was oh, debuting yeah. a new character, and then they just fucking pulled it under the rug. Yeah. Which is some bullshit. Want so, to talk about the Slayer concert? Yeah, we're, we'll get to that. Alright. So, um, actually, you, you told me beforehand that you have, uh, you have uh what's his name? You got questions. So lay them on me. Oh no, they were just things I can talk about, not questions. They they're just talking points? Yeah, they're just well, topics. Well what topics do you have? Well, I can talk about you know, when when I had COVID. Oh yeah, you had you had COVID, huh? Yeah. Well, actually don't say don't say COVID, say smovid yeah, or no, something. YouTube. Yeah, but Still, uh, I'm not going to get monetized anyway, but continue. You, uh, you, Okay, you had it, so what happened? This happened back in August. Um, It was random because I remember uh, the day we found out my grandpa actually passed away from COVID. Uh, I caught it, you know? Like that mm-hmm. morning, I felt like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to come out of my bed, dude. Like, because like, my whole body felt like it was on fire. And then... Well, I didn't, okay, we didn't know why I had it. I just felt terrible, right? Mm-hmm. And then it was that same day we went to go get tested. And I remember, like, I actually stayed in my room for the weekend. And this happened on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. So that weekend, I stayed in my room. And then I remember on Monday morning, you know, we woke up, uh, got logged into our class. And then my mom came in with a mask on. And she's like, she told me, like, you you came out positive and I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> and then I was I was worried about everyone else too. I was like, is anyone else positive? She's like, no, just you. I was like, oh okay, okay. I don't know. I wish I wish I like recorded my whole like experience. Fucking put it on YouTube. <laughs> like, a, like a documentary. Yeah. But all I really did was like stay in my room, lay in bed. I didn't even touch my Xbox. Like you can see it like right here. It's yeah. A, Xbox 360. I didn't even touch it because I didn't want to like infect the controller. <laughs> you could just slice all that shit, dude. Yeah, that's what we did afterwards. Like, I didn't want, like, I don't know. And then I remember like having to go, like, my mom said, This bathroom, there's a bathroom like right across the hall over here. Mm-hmm. And she's like, This is yours. Hey, you're alive though. So, yeah. There's that. You vaccinated? No, not yet. Oh, you should you should get vaccinated, dude. Like, yeah. like I'm not trying to like spread preaches or anything, but I'm just saying like for safety reasons, man. Yeah. Since you had it, you know what I mean. I mean, like I never had COVID, but I ended up getting vaccinated, and then uh, I was like, oh, okay, cool. How many shots have you taken already? Two. I took the two. Oh, okay. How did the second one feel? Uh, all I had was a mild headache, and then I just fucking slept it off. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I just slept it off. It was fine. So, what other talking points do you have? Well, shit. I can talk about when, when the school... You know how the school has a dog and it checks backpacks? Oh, Actually, when they... Uh, when it, Ate your sandwich or something? No, 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 no. Okay, because we're, it was in, this was freshman year, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a math class. Mm-hmm. And then just randomly, the dog and the security came in. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, we lined up. And then they got a backpack. And they're like, Who's, whose backpack is this? And I remember hearing my name. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, bro, <laughs> okay. And then, um... I remember they walked me to like the office and they took me inside a room and I swear that shit it looked like an interrogation room, bro. It was scary. <laughs> Grab my backpack. 
He's like, is there anything in here you want to tell us about before we search? And I was like, no. He's like, go for it. And then they're taking everything out, and then they find nothing. So. But what? Why? <laughs> so what the fuck? Like, why? Here's, here's I found, I've, I figured it out why the dog chose my backpack. It's because, um, you know how, okay, we walk home, right? You know the way to the liquor? Yeah, to the liquor store? Yeah. The, uh, I remember the day before, I was walking with, like, Andrew, and there were some guys that, like, was walking the other way, and they were smoking, and then the wind was, it hit my backpack. Mm. I don't know, I figured it out. Like, there. smoking weed? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can smell it, too, so. Mm. So, uh, was it like a, it was like an interrogation room? They were like, yeah, you know, so fuck I, you. You're going to die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> when we walked in, there was like, there's a guy on the phone and he was like on the phone and then, and then the security guard saw him something. I forgot what he told him. And he's like, okay, I'll call you back. And he put his phone down. And he just looked at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like some horror movie interrogation. Like, Yeah. <laughs> And then I was, I don't know, there's another story where my uncle actually played a prank on me, right? So it was, this was back in eighth grade, you know, Monte Vista. It was a Friday. It was like, I think it was before November break. Like it was the last day before November break, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving break. And then I remember being in the car with both of my uncles and we're going home, right? And then it smelled like weed, All right. And then, and then they're like, you smell that? And then, and then they look at me. It's like, is that you? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like a, I don't know. It's like 13, bro. Like, why would it be? <laughs> You're like, why would I be smoking weed at this age? <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> no. And then they're like, can we check your backpack? And then they, I was like, here, bro. I'm like, I don't know. I was like, here, go for it. They all got nothing backpack. to hide. They're looking through my backpack, and they pull out a bag. And it's weed. And all that. <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? And then they're like, uh, this is yours? And I was like, no. And then I remember we parked. I was like, we're going to tell your mom. All right? We're not going to do anything, but we're going to tell your mom, see what she does. And I was, oh, no, I was so scared because that, I didn't, that wasn't me, bro. And I was like, okay. Yeah, so, you're not the you're not a pot smoker, man. Yeah, no. I've and known then, you for five years. You, nah, Raul was more of a pot smoker than you are. <laughs> and then I remember just having like a I don't know, like it was an expression, like "fuck, what's gonna happen, dude?" You know. And then yeah, and then God, they, this weed, I'm gonna be yeah. fucked for the <laughs> no, rest they, of my they life. Keep their laughter in, right? So they started laughing. Like it was like right when we opened the door to get out and go home. Mm. Like they started laughing. They're like, we're messing with you. And then they explained that um, my little cousin that they actually picked up before me found that bag in his school parking lot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so they they played a joke on me. Oh, no. I remember, like, I just remember, like, severely shit. stressing out. Like, I was, I was scared. I was like, what was going to happen, dude? And I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, like, like, how do I prove my innocence? Like, that wasn't mine to begin with, so. You're like, I didn't buy the weed, I promise. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All right. So, uh, I actually met your mom, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what other talking points do you have? I don't know. I can talk about when I burnt my hand. Oh, yeah, you told me about how you put... Yeah, talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was recent. So, I work at uh, Golden Corral, and I work as a dishwasher, right? And then when you think of a burnt hand, you'd probably imagine, like, a cooker, you know? someone. Yeah, who- like a fry- like a SpongeBob fry cook. Yeah, but here's the thing. It was this hand, and I don't know. This hand is a little... This hand is darker than this one. Mm-hmm, Yeah. And I don't know, it's still kind of... flipping heat. me off or something? <laughs> nah, it's still like, yeah. I don't know, it's like, it's like shiny. Mm. But anyway, it was this hand. Uh, the way it happened, as a dishwasher, we have like three tubs, right? And mm. this one is like the soap. 
the middle one can be for like um, rinsing off or just leaving things to soak. And then the last one is like some sanitizer thing where we like, we're forced to put sanitizer on whatever we wash because it like disinfects it. Mm -hmm. So I remember just filling the middle one up with like really hot water, right? But you know, like this was like my fifth hour of working already. So my hands were already like used to the heat, right? Mm -hmm. So I filled that up with like extremely hot water. And, and you then, couldn't tell that it was hot. Yeah. Okay. Look, I was, I checked and I dipped my whole hand and it felt like hot to me, but not like steaming hot, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and then I felt my hand like actually like, like burn, not burn, but like it was really hot. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, it was, this hand also got hit like over here, but not as much as this. Cause like, I usually have this hand in the water as I hold, like I hold the dish like this. And like I'm scrubbing with this hand, right? Mm -hmm. And then I remember my hand being like extremely red. And I don't know, it hurt like that night I couldn't sleep because of how bad it hurt. So let's transition from Golden Corral <laughs> to uh, us playing fucking PS2 video games. You, you, I remember you sent me that picture. Oh, yeah. It's oh, SVR 07. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. I had so much fun on that game. Um, and I also have Tony Hawk Underground 2. Like the Tony Hawk games from back then were, like, really fun. Dude, did you get the Pro Skater remake? No, I want to get it, though. It's, like, 30 bucks. And Jack Black's in it, too. If you beat the game, yeah. you unlock him. He plays Officer Dick. Oh, my God. Is he a playable character or just a character? Yeah, he's a playable character. Okay. But that's only if you beat the game. All right. Then I could talk about my first concert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk about the baby metal concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I actually got this shirt over there. And I was talking to uh, – before you talk about that, I was talking to Norman, and uh, he's going to be on the podcast too soon. Oh, I thought you already had him on the podcast. No, 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 no. I haven't had any teachers or anything on the podcast because oh. uh, they said they don't want to be affiliated with it. Like the oh, yeah. because of the school, until after I graduate. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's that's the safest bet. So I'm he's gonna be on the podcast too soon. I'm gonna schedule it with him. But uh, he told me that you introduced him to baby metal, and then I told him about the Bring Me the Horizon song. Oh yeah. With them, yeah. King Slayer, that shit. That, yep. was that shit go hard, dude. Yeah. All right, so I remember um. Being like me and Andrew would go to like a card shop in Hemet, right? Because mm -hmm. we play Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. We we were there. And then and I remember like Pokemon and all that other shit. Oh, no, no, not going home. I remember seeing an ad actually. And it said, look, Baby Metal coming to the forum, right? Because they released their new, their recent album, Metal Galaxy. Yeah. And then I remember going, I remember, um, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, okay. We were at a card shop, right? I went home, and I don't know, I was listening to Baby Metal, and I'm like, and I remember standing in the shower, like, imagine my first concert is Baby Metal, and then, <laughs> yeah, like, the next day, I see the commercial, Baby Metal coming to the forum, and I was like, no way. <laughs> You're like, no fucking way. Yeah, I was like, I was like, let me ask, and then I asked my mom, I was like, mom, can we go? Because it was like three months before it actually happened. Yeah. So I told her, and she's like, when is it? And I'm like, three months from now. And she's like, all right, we'll go. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually going to be my first concert, bro. And then our second concert ended up being, uh, yeah, the main main act was Slayer. But there was a bunch of other bands there, too. Yeah, we got um, Phil Anselmo in the Illegals, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. Phil Anselmo in the Illegals. Man. Primus. Primus, yeah. And Ministry. Ministry, yeah. Which one did Darman want to watch? He wanted to watch Primus, right? Yeah, he wanted to watch Primus. Yeah. They're like a grunge band, right? Yeah, they, uh, yeah. They, they're, uh, their bass player, uh, Les Claypool, he tried out for Metallica, but they rejected him because he was too good. He was too good? He was too good. What the like he was on a different level, dude. He was like, bam, bam, bam. like I'll yeah. send you some videos. He was fucking, he was insane. Actually, I'll show you some videos afterward. 
right. Well, yeah, I remember they're like the bass player was really good. Yeah, the bass player is the lead singer. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's the same person. Oh my god. And then, uh, oh, let's talk about that one lady. <laughs> Dude, I swear she didn't have a seat, bro. She wow. just fucking. She made herself look stupid. <laughs> This drunk dude, like I don't know, she was going like from every road, like she was like dancing around. I don't know. And I, I remember me and Norman looked at each other, and we were like, we were like, really, bro? <laughs> and then me and you looked at each other, and we were like, bro. <laughs> and then I don't know, she kept going like to different rows and like different yeah. seats. And, like I don't know, I don't even know if she was supposed to be there. Yeah, I'm betting you she just snuck in. Yeah. And dude, we got there at like five, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. like we got there at like five. Yeah. And then uh as far as I know as far as I remember, I went to your house. Yeah. And it was before I got this phone. It was uh I had um this one. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's all fucked up. Yeah, like, you dropped uh, it. Several times. All right. Look at that shit. It's all fucked up. Jesus Christ. It's all fucked up, dude. So, I had that phone. <laughs> and, uh, we, like, I showed up at your house, and I can't remember what game was being played in the front room. But I think it was like, uh, what's it called? I think it was, uh, it couldn't have been Mortal Kombat, could it? it? It was, somebody was playing a video game in the front room. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, could have been Call of Duty? I don't know. Or it was Fortnite. Prob- I probably. Because I remember we were sitting on the couch. We were. I texted Norman and I was like, we're here. He was like, all right, send me the address. I was like, okay. So I sent him the address. Yeah. And then uh, we uh, we head up on our merry way. And we just, like, that was a long-ass drive, too. Yeah. <laughs> me and you like, just, uh, wait, no, oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Continue. And, like, bands and shit. Resay what you just said because I didn't hear you. Oh, uh, we were talking about Slayer and other bands. And we were just, like, really hyped to go to yeah. this concert. And uh, you know that Slayer ticket? Do you still have yours? I think so, yeah. I, I framed for... mine. Oh, you framed yours? Yeah, I need to look for it. I think it's in my drawer or something. I don't know. I need to look for it. I'm going to be real disappointed in you if you fucking lost it. <laughs> I, I threw it away. I don't know. Like, why would I throw that away? It's later, bro. Be like, ah, I fuck it. I, yeah. I think I still have the baby metal parking ticket. Parking ticket? Yeah. The little what? Slip. <laughs> yeah. It's like the little slip they give you to park. And it was mm-hmm. for the baby metal one. No, I don't know. I still have the fucking Slayer beanie and the the t-shirt we bought from that dude on the street yeah remember they gave me the wrong fucking size yeah it still fit it still fits somehow it still fucking fits and then uh i bought that bandana at the show oh yeah because i remember it happened on uh black friday and then uh, everything was so fucking expensive (laughs) when we went to go buy merch everything was so expensive they had and hoodies then, that are like 80 bucks. They're fucking, what, what do you call them? War jackets? Yeah, war jackets. Th- those were like 150. <laughs> yeah. I was lucky the beanie was 20, dude. Oh, yeah. And I was like, fuck, dude. Well, shit. Because I remember you, wish you, you, you were standing next to me in line. And this was pre-mask era, too. So this was like 2019. Oh, yeah. We didn't have any masks. It, it was, yeah. It it seems like such a long time ago, doesn't it? Yes, dude. Seems like know. fucking forever ago. And then now I see someone without a mask whenever I go outside, and I think they look weird. I'm just like, bro. 
I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that that seem, it doesn't seem normal for someone to have. Yeah, it doesn't seem normal anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because I watch like old videos and like people like YouTubers, vlogs and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you know Grimm's Toy Show? Yeah, bro. Yeah. He, yeah, he's a pro wrestler too. I fucking love him. I watch like his Royal Rumble vlogs and then like no one's wearing a mask. I'm like, oh, this is weird. And, like I uh, I was watching this one YouTuber. Do you know who uh, Dank Ops is? Who? Uh, Dank Ops. He so, yeah. he does stuff with Austin Creed. Oh yeah. From Up Up Down Down. Yeah. They're like same with CM Pulse and like New Legacy Inc. and all them. Yeah. They're like WWE 2K YouTubers. Yeah. And uh, I was watching a video, and it was both Chris, which the dude's name is Chris. Chris and Austin, which is Xavier Woods' real name. Yeah. So they were, uh, they did a charity live stream and they, uh, like, they, what they did was they went to go shopping for the kids and, like, for a charity and bought a bunch of toys and shit, right? Yeah. And they weren't wearing masks. <laughs> so I looked at when the date, when the video was posted. November 17th. No, it was November 20 something, 20 something. Actually, no, it was in December. It was like December 14th, 2016. Yeah. And I was like, bro, seems like so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's talk about the Slayer show. <laughs> oh, dude, that was amazing. They started off with South of Heaven and then like the crosses like turned upside down yeah yep because what um all right so we got there and wait i didn't have to we had to like take all the shit out of our pockets for to go through yeah i was like okay cool i'm gonna trust you because i've never been to a concert before (laughs) so did all that and then we got in and immediately once you got in you smelt (laughs) All of it, just everything. You smell beer. fucking alcohol, ma- mainly beer and whiskey. Yeah. You smell alcohol, s- cigarette smoke out the fucking ass, <laughs> and just fucking, and just, uh, oh shit, and just, um, what's it called? Um, and uh, weed. Yeah, you smell all of it, dude. Like it, it hits you like a big ass puff of smoke as <laughs> soon as you got into the form. Yeah, and uh, we start. We got there good enough to be early. Yeah, we saw the legals. Cause, uh, well, the events leading up to this was. Um, I remember I texted you and I was like, yo, you down to go to this show? And you were yeah, like, fuck well, I yeah. I let you know about the show. I told you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, yo, Slayer's coming to LA and then you wanted to go. And then I asked my dad and he was like, I was like, can I have money for a Slayer ticket? He was like, no. <laughs> he was like, no. I ain't giving you money for a Slayer ticket. Fuck no. You know how expensive they are? <laughs> And then I talked to my brother, who I've had on the podcast before. Uh, yeah. I talked to him, and I was like, yo, can you pay for this ticket for me? <laughs> he was like, hell yeah. I'll pay for you and your friend to go. I was like, okay, cool, yeah, thanks. Really cool, man. I was like, fuck yeah, dude, thank you. <laughs> so we ended up talking to Norman because we needed a ride. Yeah. Well, your mom was going to take us, but we still like we still needed a ride. Yeah. So I ended up talking to Norman and I was like, yo, Slayer is coming to LA. And he was like, he was like, really? I was like, yeah. He's like, what day? And then I told him the day. He was like, damn. It all depends on if the football team wins or loses. You remember this? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on if the football team wins or loses, then I can go or if I can't go. I was I like, okay. Him, like, it was, uh, I think, third period. It was math. And then he told me, like, you told him that you were going to go to Slayer. And then I told Norman, he's like, you want to come? He's like, he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then, I don't know, he's like, I'll check the tickets. 
Oh, he's like, you sure you can? I can come. I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, like, I'm not banning you or anything. Yeah, like, come on, bro. And then I remember he looked at tickets with me, and he's like, okay, we'll get these seats, right? Mm-hmm. And then I remember we were like, it was the only time we'd ever root against our own team. Like, I never wanted a football team to lose so badly in my life. <laughs> hoping, okay, because he's like, okay, if the football team wins, I can't go. If they lose, I can't. I can go. And then, I don't know, I remember on the weekend, I was just like, I was just like, I hope they lose. I hope they lose. <laughs> like, dude, I never wanted a football team to lose so badly in my life. Even, like, the and the San Jacinto football team was doing good that year, too. Yeah, they're doing really good. So I wanted them to lose so badly because it was like it wasn't life or death, but it felt like it was. <laughs> yeah, because they're like in the like uh, playoffs, I think. Yeah, they were about to enter the playoffs. Yeah, so if they lose, they're done, and then yeah, they ended up losing. Because I remember I got that text message from Norman saying Slayer time, let's do this. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. And then I texted you like after that. And I was like, he's, he, I was like, we're good to go. You were like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And I think um, our team played against another team that they're that, like, they able to beat. Mm-hmm. I forgot what team it was. I know it wasn't Citrus Hill because we can never beat Citrus Hill. Yeah. Citrus Hill is just way too damn good. Yeah. So we got there. At like five o'clock, we got there at the second song for Phil Anselmo and the Illegals. Yeah. And what was really cool is they were doing a whole Pantera set. Yeah, it was all Pantera, which was dope. And they played Walk last. And dude, bro, when like it started up with me with when Walk started up, I remember me and you looked at each other and we fucking lost our minds. It's like. Did hear the opening riff? We were like, bro, holy shit. <laughs> and then um, and then Mini- Ministry played afterward. And uh, they played like a Black Sabbath cover or something like that. Yeah. All I remember from the Ministry part was like the visuals were fucking crazy. Yeah, they were good. The visuals were insane because they they had like a kid crying and it was like beating. It was really weird. It it was fucking insane. And then uh, Primus got on stage, and then they started out. They started out with um, "My Name Is Mud," and the the fucking everybody just erupted. I remember when he fr- when uh, Les Claypool. Did the first like the opening bass line to that song? Everybody just fucking exploded. And I was over here like, "What's going on? What's going on?" <laughs> and like, I exploded too because I had listened to Primus before, like beforehand, and I was actually a fan of them. I, me and Norman, fuck. Once we found out that Norman was, uh, like, I was talking to Norman, and I was like, I was like. Primus is up next. He was like, he was like, I've been looking forward to this. I'm, I really want to see how they do. <laughs> and then once my name is Mud started playing, me and Norman just fucking blew up. We were like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and did you know that um, uh, Primus did uh, the theme song for South Park? They did. Yeah, the going down to South Park. Yeah, that's that's Les Claypool and Primus. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when like Slayer started, we all stood up. Yeah, because I remember I had to go pee. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I I remember uh so Primus played um they played My Name is Mud, they played da- uh Danny was a res- race car driver, they played DMV, and then they played um they played Pork Chop's Little Ditty, which is all really great songs. Yeah. But, like, we know what we were here for. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I remember they just closed the curtains. And I was like, I, I remember telling you and Norman, I was like, I got to go pee so bad. And then, uh, 
it was like maybe two minutes. Oh, shit, we lost you. Oh, no. He's back. Oh, my bad. All right, what? All right. It was like two minutes before um, Slayer started. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I have to go pee so bad. And I don't think, I don't want to like, uh, like miss the opening note. Because I remember the the curtains closed. Then they had the crosses. Yeah. And then uh, Delusions of a Savior started playing. Mm-hmm. You remember the... Yep. They were playing that. And I was like, oh, dude. This is going to be crazy. Okay. And then you remember they had the spotlights and you can see them walk on stage. <laughs> and, uh, dude, like, and Gary, I remember Gary Holt was wearing the Kill the Kardashians t-shirt. Yeah, he was. And, like, I have that t-shirt over here. I, I, I am so unprepared. I wish I had it over here because I would have showed it. But um, I remember telling Norman, I was like, you see that shirt right there? I'm going to buy it and I'm going to wear it. <laughs> and then fucking like two weeks later, I showed up to school wearing a Kill the Kardashians t-shirt. Yeah, I remember that shirt. And uh, like I had a duffel bag and everybody thought I was going to shoot up to school. Oh, Everyone. Everyone. I don't understand why. I don't know why it's always me. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> And speaking of that shirt, I was wearing it like two days ago, right? Yeah. And M- Mr. Shepard and like some other lady, Mr. Shepard saw that. And then he started fucking dying, dude. He started laughing really hard. <laughs> and then some other lady, uh, I think she was like a high ranking official in the school or something. I don't know. But she saw the shirt too. And she started dying, dude. She started laughing really hard. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, Wah! And she started fucking dying. And I was like, hey. So what it's supposed to do. Yeah. I'm just spreading awareness. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember I wore the Wu Tang shirt. Oh yeah, the Wu Tang. The Ric Flair one? W- Ric Flair Wu Tang. Yeah. The Wu Tang. Yep. And uh yeah. Norman we have, me and Norman have a joke that I owe him one of those shirts. Oh my gosh. Because I own I owed him a woodshop project until I made him that hat rack. See, we got a lot of jokes between me and him. Yeah. <laughs> inside jokes. Yeah, a lot of inside jokes only me and him can under like that we'll we'll get. But back to Slayer. We they got on stage and Gary uh, not Gary Holt, um fucking Kerry King had his chains. Mm-hmm. This was the the one thing everyone out there has to remember. This was the night Actually, was it their final show or was it the day before their final show? It was the Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah. This was the night before he dropped his chains for the final time. And uh, we... um, They went on stage. And I swear to God, with every video I see of um, Slayer and... uh, Kerry King. Kerry King has to be the biggest Slayer fan of all time. <laughs> because he's always wearing their fucking merchandise. In every video I see of like a Slayer music video, every one he's wearing their merchandise. Every single one. Well, that's kind of like wrestlers wearing their own merch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Slayer. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I got it. Boom. Oh. oh Boom. <laughs> it's got the fucking... Oh, yeah. It's got a short film called The Repentless Killogy. Mm-hmm. And then it has the show Live at the Forum in Inglewood, California. And then it has an animation called Repentless Animation. And then here's like the disc. Yeah. Nice. 
Nice. There's like the inside of it. But yeah, speaking of Slayer, they, they I, I wanted to show you that. And I also have um the album that South of Heaven is on on vinyl. Oh nice. Well isn't the album called South of Heaven? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. So if you think about it. I will always have a Slayer concert in my fucking, uh, in my Blu-ray, uh, thing. Yeah. So I will always have a Slayer concert on me. And I, didn't I, like, send you that post of when it started streaming? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, okay, they went on stage. The crosses turned. <laughs> I remember the. I remember this vividly. The crosses turned. Me and you both lost our fucking minds. Yeah, I did. When they started playing the the riff to for South the Heaven. opening for South of Heaven. Yeah. And we were like, "Bro, oh my god!" And then, uh, like, the crosses turned, and then the curtains opened. Yeah. And we were like. Holy shit. And then they did the bow, bow. And then we saw uh we saw them just fucking go go ham. Yeah. And then I remember when they played Disciple, whenever the part when he's like God hates us all in the song. Like me and you and it'd be enough. Yeah, and then the flames would be in a cross. Yeah. And dude, we had such good seats you could feel the heat. Yeah. From the fucking flames. I can only imagine how hot it was being the drummer. <laughs> like, <laughs> since he was, like, right in front of him. Yeah. And just being on stage. I can imagine how hot that was. Yeah. And you, do you remember seeing that pit once, like, Primus played? They were, like, swaying back and forth. It was really weird. Yeah. And then once Slayer played, everyone started punching each other. <laughs> they were like, fuck you, no, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> And then, so, so Slayer played, okay, the Slayer show started at, like, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Or was it 10 or was it 11? I don't know. They started late. All I know is that it lasted until 2 o'clock in the morning the next day. Yeah. And then I remember uh, they played South of Heaven. They played Disciple. And then I remember me and you, we counted it down. And once, once Tom said, oh, yeah. Um, speaking of Slayer and Tom, happy birthday, bro! Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Tom. Araya, lead singer of Slayer and one of my childhood heroes. But happy birthday, man. <laughs> I hope 60 treats you well. <laughs> but um, I remember when Disciple played. Uh, and what's ironic about that is Tom Araya is Catholic. He's yeah. religious. Well, yeah. the song wasn't written by him. It was written by Karis King. King yeah. And um, some people like freak out about that song, and then they're like, "Oh, he's talking about God hating us." Like, no, it's a, it's really about like he hates what we've become, you know. Yeah, that's true. Like you know, like all the writing and killing and mm-hmm. shit. Like that's what he's like mad about. And everybody's just too damn sensitive. No one can <laughs> take a joke anymore. Yeah, we can't talk about anything now. Yeah, bro, I can talk about peanut butter and then I'd get rioted off YouTube. You know what I mean? Syrup like, on Jamaica yeah, or whatever it's pronounced. Yeah, fucking. I can just talk about how nice Canadians are and then everyone will come after me. You know what I mean? They'll be like, Canadians are assholes. Be like, no, they're not. They're actually nice people. Well, I, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I just wanted to have a conversation. And um, so Slayer played, um, I remember when Disciple played, and then Mm -hmm. me and you, we timed it to when he said it. Once he said, God hates us all, me and you screamed at the top of our fucking lungs. Was all screaming it? Yeah, dude. Everybody in that, like, in that arena was screaming, God hates us all. It was, oh my God. It was just... I, it was the same for raining blood and dead skin, yeah. dead skin mask. Bro, oh my god, because I remember I was listening to Slayer to prepare, yeah. And then, um, we 
Dead Skin Mask has to be one of my favorite songs. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's one of my favorites from Slayer too. So, Dead Skin Mask played, and then once we heard the banana, yeah, and I was learning how to play Slayer songs on guitar to prepare mm-hmm. for this concert. Which I don't know how it would help, but it, it I don't I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. I just like started learning how to play them, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Hell yeah!" And then and, raining blood, like when he when he said when it was like raining blood, like the whole concert just screamed it. Yeah, like me and you were screaming our heads off. Yeah, the entire time. Voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, the one thing I'm disappointed about was I'm disappointed they didn't rain fake blood. Oh, yeah. Because that would have been perfect. That would have been cool, yeah. That would have been awesome, dude. I would have been like, ah! <laughs> Like, I would have lost my mind. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, you know, you remember the super ironic thing? At, they ended the show with raining blood, and then it started raining outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like I, I remember I pointed it out I was like the fucking irony because <laughs> I remember we nobody left until Slayer left the stage yeah like everyone was just standing there and then when you can't see that like they were taking pictures and everyone was still standing there and then uh, uh, wait did you get uh, Tom's um, speech on uh, video no I don't think I did. I'm, I think my battery. Uh, no, not my battery. My. Oh yeah, remember my phone was was dying. Yeah. I ran out of battery. The same thing I'm, happened with Baby Metal, dude. My phone. I remember my phone died too. But if I had this phone back then, that would have been a problem. N- yeah. Not at all. It would have not been a problem. But unfortunately, I did not. Which is disappointing. But man, eh, you know. We all rolled the dice. But I thought it was really funny because uh, Tom was like, thank you for spending our time, spending your time with us tonight. And he was yeah. talking and talking and talking. And then uh, T- Tom ended it on like a really funny note. And he was like, he was like, well, if you're coming back tomorrow, see you again. <laughs> yeah. And then everybody started laughing. And then once they left off stage, uh, like everyone started leaving and then I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> and then remember we went to the bathroom and everybody in the bathroom was just screaming Slayer. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, and I was walking back up and I was like, looks like that guy had a little too much to drink. And then he was like, not enough. <laughs> yeah, he's like, not enough. <laughs> I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> so yeah, that like once we got home, uh, I remember Norman dropped you guys off and then yeah. I sat in the front seat and then he dropped me off and it was like he dropped me off two houses uh, two house, houses behind of where I was actually supposed to get dropped off so I had to walk <laughs> yeah. he was, I was like okay cool I was like thanks Norman whatever man thanks dude so once I got home I, I did not go to bed until like 4 o'clock in the morning because my ears were still ringing <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. The ears are ringing. Dude, that concert was so loud, but it was so fucking awesome. Oh, this is one festival I want to go to. is Download Festival. Dude, I want, yeah, hell yeah. I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I feel like Download is, like, the biggest, like, festival for, like, rock and metal. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's that one uh, Slipknot concert I was telling you about. Yeah, this whole time we haven't talked about Slipknot. <laughs> yeah, we because we <laughs> that's really weird, huh? It's yeah. really fucking strange. <laughs> it's because we just talked about the Slayer concert. Yep. But like, yeah, I couldn't go to bed till like four o'clock in the morning, and like I fell asleep, and I woke up at like four o'clock in the afternoon the next day. Yeah. And I remember I texted you, and I was like, "How you feeling?" <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, like, I couldn't talk. When I was talking, I was like, like, I couldn't, I couldn't talk at all. And then, uh, so let's talk about, is Slipknot one of the topics you have? 
Mm, oh no, it's not actually. Do oh oh actually, um, back in junior year before lockdown, like a month or like a month before, mm-hmm. my mom was gonna take me to a festival, where Slipknot was gonna headline. And then it ended up getting canceled because of COVID. You know what I found funny as fuck. Me and you were both supposed to go to Slipknot concerts, but things yeah. came up to where we weren't able to go. Yeah. That's that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this Slipknot concert in Phoenix yep. on November 2nd. Yeah. It's the Knotfest Roadshow. It's like one of the it's like the final date for their show. And I really want to go and I really want to buy tickets. But I also have to buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, like, fuck, dude. Because Slipknot, Kill Switch Engage, Code Orange, and Fever 333 are playing. Yeah. So the only people I'm really excited for is Slipknot and Kill Switch Engage. The, the other yeah. two I can care less about. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, yeah. But. So, uh, <laughs> so uh yeah i really want to go to that show i'm gonna I'm see if i can yeah but oh dude have you seen the new uh spongebob movie no i haven't seen it yet i can screen share on discord and we can watch it if you want to yeah i'll see i don't know which one is it the uh sponge on the run oh, the, oh yeah the, like the brand new one yeah it looks really fucking good, dude. Yeah, and then the soundtrack is amazing. Like they got like really big artists to do that. Mm-hmm. And um, fucking uh, like on Paramount Plus, they actually have like the original SpongeBob streaming in its entirety. So you know what I decided to do? I decided to go back and start binge watching SpongeBob again. <laughs> and they also have like the new spinoff show. And a bunch of other stuff. Did you know the creator was actually um, trying against to end- spinoff? Oh. Yeah, he was trying to end it on um, the the movie, the first movie. Yeah. yeah, and the first movie from '04 has to be the best one. It, it is obviously because uh, Sponge Out of Water. What I yeah, I don't have really. That was a superhero yeah. one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a superhero yeah, one. I haven't seen that. One. My brother saw. He said it was all right. It, yeah, it was all right. I don't have any strong feelings for it, but this new one, dude, it's fucking great. It's like really good. It's got Keanu Reeves in it and Danny Trejo. Oh my god! It and it's got Snoop Dogg in it for some reason. I think he made a song. Yeah, he made a song in it. So how you feeling, man? It's been fifty nine minutes and thirty five seconds. I'm feeling good. It's just, I don't know, I'm kind of running out of time because I have to go to a birthday party. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah. So, uh, do you want to just wrap it up now and then we end it at an hour or what? Yeah, and if we want to talk about anything else, we'll just do a part two. We'll just do, I'll just, it would be like the, like how Rogan does it, how he has guests on several times. Like he does it with Joey Diaz and Tom Segura. So why not? All right, you know how this show goes. Plug your shit. Okay, well, Instagram, GCGus11. Well, that's about it. That's it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of making a Twitch. I don't know. Streaming looks fun. Dude, I'm telling you, we can, uh, we can stream SVR07 together. Yeah. All I need you, you to do is, like, help me set it up. Yeah, and then I'm better at the game. I keep losing the computers. Because I'm having trouble uh, finding bios. Oh, okay. Oh, the video I sent you, he 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 puts a link for bios. Oh. He, so the video I did just I just did step by step. I followed everything that he did. Mm-hmm. So, um, did you check out that Parasec video I showed you? No, I need. I know what Parasec is because I've used it before. That's how we can play online and make like. Like we could stream on Twitch doing that. Yeah, it's like it's like giving uh me like the player two controller or something like that. Mm-hmm. So we can like stream on Twitch like that if you want to, because I think that'd be pretty dope. You know, doing a co-op story mode or something. 
Yeah. Or yeah. like for SVR 2010, you know how they have the co-op um, Road to WrestleMania? Yeah. And same with SVR 2009. They have the um, co-op Road to WrestleMania. We, we can like do that. I don't know. I didn't really like SVR 2009. Why not, dude? I don't know. That that game, it feels like it was lacking in a lot of places. I feel like 08 was more than 09 was. 08? 09 is the one where the DX is on the cover, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wait. I don't know. I have that one. And I don't know. It was, it's good, but I feel like it was lacking in some places. Oh, I forgot. Um, they're in that there in that one but okay so thanks for being on the show uh hopefully i have you on again soon uh see you later everybody this has been the end of the culture shock for this episode